All right, hey Sagittarius. So we're doing mind, heart, and soul messages from the person on your mind. And if this read does not um, connect with you or you don't connect with it, please check Moon Rising or Venus placements. Um, and click the bell, subscribe, click the bell, because these are going to be done over today and tomorrow, so the 25th and 26th of January. And next week, I'm going to do a third party or karmic situation. Um, so please, again, tune in, subscribe, you guys, all that good stuff. Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram, you guys. That's where I do other types of readings and reels, oracle card pulls, all that good stuff. So on Facebook and Instagram, you guys, get a hold of me over there just as well. So welcome. And we're going to start with the mirrored energy. So what's going on between you and this person? What is happening with you and this person, Sagittarius? We got the nine of coins coming through. Um, in reverse, that card's going to suggest maybe somebody got taken advantage of. You know, somebody was not being um, transparent. Somebody could have been stringing somebody along. You know, that, that card right here is taking advantage of a wish fulfillment when it's come through, coming through in reverse. It could also indicate the fact that somebody's not single because it is a singles card, right? Somebody afraid to take a leap of faith. Somebody, who, you know, this is like you acknowledging it and it's like what you've seen from this person. Um, but there's definitely death card is coming through. So transformation definitely needs to happen before like it, this is going to go anywhere, right? Um, but temperance card shows that you guys could be holding space for one another. So there might not be hatred or, or anger or frustration. Um, it could just be that while you guys are, are going about your individual lives, that um, you are holding space for one another, even though um, you can recognize and acknowledge that change needs to happen in order for this connection to grow. You also got the four of cups coming through. It's like both of you guys want to reach out to one another, but that's not being made, right? That uh, energy is not being, it's not being met. It could be too that, you know, you could be like this person. It's on them to reach out to me. And then you got this other person folding their arms across their chest and saying they can reach out to me. Okay. So a lot of mirrored energy coming through when I feel like it uh, relates to reaching out and communicating. All right. So let's just see what it is you wish you could tell this person. What you wish you could tell this person. I'm going to have to pause to get that one. All right. So we have this star card showing up. Um, that card, you know, when it comes to separated type of readings, um, it could just be um, all about the inspiration that's received from somebody. Okay. You got the full card showing up in reverse, just like that death card came through in reverse. I can't help but feel like there's a lot that you want to say when it comes to being foolish about not taking that next step, not taking that new journey, making yourself happy, right? The star card is all about wishes and dreams and hopes and fulfillment. And it could just be that, you know, you guys have met and there was just an instant bond, um, a spiritual, you know, inclination towards one another, right? And then it's like you, you see this person, they're an inspiration, they're a humanitarian, and it could just be that that's the eyes that you are seeing them from because that's how much they have ch helped you change, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, okay? But it's like in, all, in lieu of that, how could you be so foolish to let this go? Especially when you got two people that are just madly in love with one another um, and whatever happens for whatever, you know, it's like the right person, the wrong time circumstances that come through. Um, I'm always going to be a believer and an advocate though. If something is just really, really nudging your heart space, you go for it. You get one life. Um, and my, ever since I've started having relationships, um, I was never going to put off my happiness for somebody else, especially if I was not being treated properly. Um, and, and it's never backfired on me. Um, one thing I will not do is stay in a connection that, um, that has me not, not being myself. Um, and I'm not saying you guys, but potentially the person that you're dealing with could be in a situation where they are not themselves. And in front of you, you get to see their, their, their nakedness when it comes to authenticity. And then it's like, they got to put this mask on when they go back to wherever it is they're going to. Um, and I feel like, you know, if you could tell this person anything, it would be that. I want to see you happy. I want to see you you thrive. Um, let's see what's shifting behind this connection, behind the scenes. What is going on that you are not seeing? Look at that. We got, we got judgment card coming through. I feel like this is a revelation on complacency. 
Um, you know what I mean? So if this person was too complacent, if they have just not made moves, um, I feel like a shift in their complacency has definitely happened. So materialistic things and money does not make the world go around. And I feel like somebody's getting a, an eye full of that, a revelation. You got your Ace of Wands coming through, which shows me a new beginning. And then I love that the High Priestess card shows up because it's almost like somebody's having a huge epiphany on what Sagittarius means to their life, which is super duper important. Um, I love it. Judgment card showing up is all about changing, growing, releasing the always, bringing on new ways, you know. Um, so you guys could actually be dealing with somebody who is quite stuck. Same old thing, month after month, year after year, week after week, whatever. Um, and it maybe had no faith that this was turning around um, or that they were going to change or things were going to be different. I feel like things are going to be different, especially if you guys have had a long period of separation. All right, so let's see who this person is. What is their energy? What is their energy? So we got Scorpio Sagittarius coming through. This person's energy comes through in reverse, but we're going to respect the King of Wands and we're going to put him in the upright. Um, I feel like they're not happy. They're not completely happy. All right, you got Scorpio Sag Pisces and we have Gemini Libra Aquarius coming through. Um, so as far as their energy, look at this. This is a spy card. You guys checking out, we wonder what you're up to. Um, even if you guys haven't talked, don't think that this person's not spying on you. Don't think they're not capable of spying just as much as you have. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like in, it, but this card came through in reverse. This one came through in the half trip, right? So it comes through like this. This guy comes through like this. As far as their energy, I feel like they're not happy. I really feel like they're not happy. You know, um, it's like this person's wondering what you're doing, um, because I do feel like you bring them peace and, and serenity and happiness. Um, but this person's definitely been playing games, right? That King of Wands energy in reverse. That's somebody who's just no different than the Knight of Wands, really. Any of the any of the cards that can come through in reverse has a potential to be all over the place with their energy. Um, and I feel like that's how you've known this energy to be. So how did they feel about you? How is this person feeling about you? How do they feel about you? You bring st stability. You bring a balance to this person. All right. They can't stop thinking about you. This is the good and the bad. Um, I feel like it's more about the missed opportunity. Them leading you on. Right. Um, for however long it was. You putting your life on hold. Um, for nothing. Pretty much. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if, if your life has been on hold or pause for weeks, months, or years. You guys, I really feel like this person, as far as how they feel about you, um, it, it's, I feel like it's taken a toll on them. I should have. I should have went for it when I had the chance. I should have done this when I said I was going to. You know, I really wish I could um, make it right with Sagittarius. I really wish I could bring balance to where I brought instability for this person. Um, it's, it's just crazy how somebody can be stringing somebody along. Um, and it's happened to me, you guys, and it's happened to me for years. Um, but you know, we're all growing. Um, we're all growing. Um, even the people that tend to, to do that are, are in a sense growing to a certain degree. <laughs> um, it's like, where, where does the evolution step in though? Right. Um, I really feel like this person is acknowledging their imbalance, um, their lack, what they could have done, what they should have done, um, you know, and it's almost like a distant wish for this person right now, but let's see what their next move is when it comes to this connection. What is their next move? What is their next move? Look at that. We got our, um, Knight of Wands, which is a messenger card. We have the Seven of Wands also showing up right here. We've got the Hierophant also showing up. So we look at the, uh, the Knights as messengers. I feel like this person is coming forward. And I feel like they're coming through to try to find some sort of solid or stable ground. Some sort of sense of security with you. Um, even if they're not choosing to make big movements right now. I do feel like in this person's heart they want to find peace. They, they need to find peace because I feel like they are not finding peace. And I feel like their next action is to find some sort of peace when it comes to you, because it's like the eight of swords They're Yes, they're all in their mind. This is a reflection on all the negative shit that's happened. But in the end, uh, it's like this. They're incessantly thinking about you. They're incessantly um, there. It's like the karma is is not a 
I, I don't, I don't believe in karma, like personally, but I know a lot of people believe in karma. And I feel like this person, I'll say it like this, this person is definitely a believer in karma because I feel like they're on the receiving end of it um, because they cannot stop thinking about you, what they could have done, what they should have done. Um, you know, you, you can't do that. You can't mess up the good. You can't do that with a good person. Um, and the biggest thing is, is that we don't have to do anything because God saw it and the universe saw it. Um, and I hope that you guys walk around with that mentality about yourselves because God saw it and the universe saw it. And that's kind of all we have to think about with, with karma. We don't have to wish it. We don't have to do anything. We could just sit here and nothing it. And, and God saw it and the universe saw it. You guys trust that this person is feeling every bit of wrong that they have done to you. All right. So I feel like they are going to be coming through with some truthful talk. Something that you probably should have heard a long time ago. Let's get some mind, heart, and soul messages from this person. All right, some messages from the mind space. I know one day we will find our way back to each other. And in the heart space, your present in my life gives peace. It's something this person's probably not feeling since you've been gone. And in the soul, you are the light in my darkest times, of course. And I, I feel that energy coming through for this person. So let's get some initials. And this could be yours or this person's first, middle, or last. And we got D, R, Z, F, A, and T. All right. I'm going to leave it right here, you guys. Sending you so much love. And I do hope that you check out my other um, pages over on Facebook and Instagram. You guys take care.